하나님 감사합니다. God, we thank you. 에, 렘넌트를 축복해 주시고 we pray that you bless the 어, 이 시대에 살릴 하나님의 렘넌트들로 세워 주시기 원합니다. And may you raise them up as the remnants who will save the age. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도합니다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today we will share the word of God regarding the second remnant day message on Onesimus. Onesimus was a thief that would steal things from others. Philemonus, 오늘 읽었죠? And we read today, Philemon. Onesimus was a slave of Philemon. And one day, this thief ran into met Paul in prison. And after he met Paul, he received the gospel, so he changed. 여러분 복음이 들어가면 왜 사람이 바뀌는지 아세요? Do you know why people change when they receive the gospel? 복음은 어떤 능력이냐? 고린도 후서 5장 17절에 재창조의 능력이 있어요. It says in 1 uh, Corinthians that the gospel has the power of recreation. 그 인생이 완전히 바뀌는 겁니다. And so your life completely changes. 그 여러분 인생이 안 되는 것은 안 바뀌어서 그래요. And if your life is not working, then it's because you haven't changed. We cannot do this with our own strength, but only with the power of God. 그 so if the gospel goes into you, then your DNA completely changes. 그 And if you don't know the gospel, then you have to keep on living with what you already have. 그러니까 사람이 바뀌는 것은 자기 스스로 바뀌는 게 아니라 그리스도께서 복음으로 우리 안에서 나를 재창조하면서 내가 바뀌어 가는 거예요. So people just do not change on their own but because of the power of Jesus Christ inside of them they are recreated newly. 자, 그러면 이 복음이 도대체 뭐냐? Then what exactly is this gospel? 여러분, 복음을 정말 알고 믿으면 바뀌어요. And if you truly know and believe the gospel then you change. 그 여러분 세상이 어떻게 변냐? 여러분이 자꾸 바뀌라. 바뀌라. 껍데기만 바뀌지 속은 안 바뀌어요. But the world keeps on telling you you have to change, you have to change, and it's just the external change, not the internal one. If you study English education, then you're If you study the education of the world, then you're going to graduate school, you're going to become lawyers and um, judges, and on the outside, you'll change. But the things inside of But the things inside of you need to change. The software inside of you needs to change for your entire life to change. 우리는 태어날 때부터 내가 중심으로 태어납니다. Ever since we are born, we are centered on myself. 네, 왜냐하면 내가 기준이잖아요. Because I am the standard. 내가 보고 느끼고 하잖아요. Whatever I see, whatever I feel. 그러니까 내 중심으로 살아갈 수밖에 없는 거예요. So we have no choice but to live centered on ourselves. 원래 우리는 어떻게 지어졌냐? 하나님이 보시는 것으로 나도 보도록 만들어졌다 이 말이에요. But the way that we were created to live is to see everything the way that God sees it. 우리는 그걸 보고 하나님의 형상이라 그럽니다. That's what it means to be the image of God. 하나님이 내 안에 영으로 오셔서 나를 통해서 하나님의 일을 이루어 가는 거예요. It is God's spirit living within me and then fulfilling God's work within me. 그 하나님을 이 일을 이루어 갈 때는 내가 하나님이 원하는 것을 볼수 있도록 내게 은혜를 계속 주시는 거예요. And in order to fulfill God's work, he continues to give me grace so that I can see everything the way he does. 그 우리는 어떻게 합니까? 이런 삶을 원래 우리가 살아야 되는 거예요. Then that's the life that we are originally created to live. 근데 날 때부터 아담 하와의 이 원죄로 나는 태어날 때부터 하나님 But because of Adam and Eve's original sin, as soon as I was born, I was born with a spiritual state that goes against or opposes God. And we can never escape from myself. Because I'm not able to escape from myself, I'm always trapped within the limitations of myself. Then everything I see is everything, and what I've learned is everything. And you're not able to see the things that God has done beyond that. So it's all about what I want. 
뭐 요즘 그 보니까 우리 딸도 보니까 너왜 그래? 내가 원하니까 내가 원하는 것 Lately, I've been asking my daughter, "Why do you do this?" And she says, "Because I want to. You shouldn't just do the things that you want to do." 하나님이 원하는 것인가를 질문해야 돼요. You have to ask the question whether this is something that God desires. 그럼 응답이 와요. Then you'll receive answers. 여러분 이제는 구원 받았기 때문에 그리스도 이름으로 하나님 원하시는가 이거 한 번만 질문해야 돼요. Now you've received salvation, so you can pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Is this something that God desires? 왜냐 그 그리스도께서 우리 속에 와 계시기 때문에. Because that Christ lives inside of me now, He gives me the answer from inside. 이제는 내가 성공만 하면 되는 게 아니에요. Now it's no longer about me succeeding. 내가 성공했다. 그럼 뭐 하나님은 뭐 전혀 상관없는 거지. Even if I succeed, it has nothing to do with God. 여러분 공부할 때 기도하고 공부하는 말은 내가 성공하기 위해서 공부하는 거 아니에요. When I tell you to pray before you study, I'm not saying you need to pray for your success. 기도하라. 언약 잡아는 말은 하나님이 원하는 것을 위해서 오늘도 내가 공부하는 기 때문에 기도하는 거예요. To pray and to hold on to the covenant means because I'm aiming for the thing that God desires, I pray for that today. 이걸 여러분들이 공부할 때 이게 훈련돼야 돼요. And you need to be trained to do this while you study. 그 쉽죠 간단한 거잖아요. And it's very simple, isn't it? 뭐 내가 공부하는 게 아니고 이 공부가 하나님의 의를 하나님의 영광을 나타내기 위해서 공부하기 때문에 그걸로 꼭 기도하시면 돼. It's not about me studying, but through these studies, God's righteousness and God's plan will be fulfilled, and His and He will be glorified. So that is what we pray for. 하나님 이 공부가 세계 복음화 그리스도를 나타내기 위한 공부가 되게 해 주옵소서. 기도하시면 된다니까. All you have to do is pray, God, may my studies be used for world evangelization. 그럼 하나님이 역사하기 시작해요. Then God will begin to work. 쉽죠? It's easy, isn't it? 그럼 이걸 모르면 그냥 막 내가 성공하기 위해서 공부 잘하게 해 주십시오. 내가 그걸 종교에 종교. But if you don't know this, then you'll always ask God, help me succeed so that I can su- uh, help me study well so I can succeed. That's a religion. 내가 내가 원하는 것을 위해서 하나님께 기도한 거 종교. If you pray for the things that you want, then to get it from God, that's religion. 그건 기도는 그 종교의 종교. That's not prayer. That's just religion. 그 사람은 크게 쓰임 못 받아요. And that person cannot be used in a great way. 하나님 내 공부가 하나님의 계획 세계 복음을 위해서 하는 공부니 하나님 내게 역사에 달려 인도를 받아야 되니까. We need to receive guidance, so we pray for our studies to be used for God's plan and God's desire. 공부할 때도 여러분들이 지금 하나님께 잡힌 공부냐, 아니면 내가 그냥 내 계획을 위해서 내 힘으로 이룰 것이냐, 공부할 때부터 이런 영적 상태가 분별 딱 구분돼요. So even when you're starting to study, your spiritual state is discerned between will I do this for God's glory, for with His power, or for myself with my own power. 만약에 여러분이 일을 한다. 그 일을 하는 게그 내가 내가 원하는 거, 내 성공을 위해서 그 아니잖아요. 이걸 통해서 하나님의 그리스도가 나타나도록 이걸 위해서 하나님 역사해 달라. And if you are working, then it's not about you doing your work for what you desire, but through this, may God's plan of Christ be revealed. 그러니까 내 중심으로 계속 기도하고 뭘 하면 종교가 돼 버려. But if you keep on doing things and praying centered on yourself, it becomes religion. 오늘도 얘기했죠. 내가 율법을 내가 지키는 행위가 중심돼 버리면 그건 이제 완전히 율법의 종로로 돼. 못 빠져나와요. I said in today's Sunday message that if it is about you performing the actions for your righteousness, then you cannot escape from religion. 그 율법이 뭐냐? What is the legalism? 법이요, 법. The law. 그냥 율법하니까 그냥 law의 law. It's the law. 그러니까 law를 우리가 지켜야 되는데. And we have to keep the law. 그러니까 내가 law를 지킨다. 이 세상 law 말고요. 세상 law는 누구나 지킬 수 있는 거예요. 내가 하나님의 law를 지킨다. 그러니까 그 지킬 사람이 없다 이거야. I'm not talking about the law of the world. Anybody can keep those laws, but the law of God, we cannot keep our own. 내 on our 힘으로 own. 지킨다 할지라도 하나님 볼 때는 의로움이 아니. Even if you do keep the law with your own actions, it is not righteous before God. 그 여러분들이 아, 신앙생활 한다 말은 내 힘으로 공부는 내 힘으로 할수 있고요, 일도 내 힘으로 할수 있고요, 밥 먹는 것도 내 힘으로 할수 있어요. 그런데 우리는 하나님의 영광을 위해서 하나님 일을 하는 사람이기 때문에 내 힘으로는 절대 하나님 일을 할 수가 없어요. Yes, you can study and work and eat food all with your own strength, but we are the ones that are living for God's glory, which is impossible by our own strength. 설교도 내 힘으로 할수 있어요. 
I can give messages with my own strength. And she can translate with her own strength. The choir can sing with their own strength. But that's not what I mean. That's just revealing your actions. And later on their own righteousness. But the work of God must be fulfilled and revealed through me. In order for that to happen, God must work. Because God's work must be revealed. Through this message, it's not about me giving a good sermon, but revealing the things of God. That's the difference between religion and the gospel. 여러분 여러분 나이 때 이걸 듣고 자란 사람과 모르고 자란 사람은 눈물 눈물어 가지고 모르게 종교로 가버려. 자기가 종교인지 몰라. 그냥 이게 기독교라고 생각하는 거예요. There are people who understand this and those that don't, and people that don't understand it are so far into religion, but they don't see it. 자기의 욕심, 자기의 탐욕을 이루기 위해서 기독교 생활하는 그 우상이 우상. They live a Christian life for their own greed and their own ambition, but that is an idol. 그럼 아이돌 알죠? 요즘 아이돌 가수 알죠? B, BTS 아이돌 가수 알죠? 그 뭐야? 나가 저로 되고 싶다는 거예요. You know what idols are, right? There's idols like celebrities, like BTS. It means that we want to be like them. 우리는 어떤 사람의 모양이 되고 싶다 하면 안 돼요. We shouldn't try to be like another human. 우리는 하나님의 계획, 하나님의 목적, 하나님의 뜻을 이룰 수 있는 그 하나님의 형상으로 하나님에게 역사할 수 있도록 뭐 우상 숨길 필요 없어요. There is no reason for us to worship idols because we are created in the image of God for God to fulfill His will, His plan um, through us. 그 미국이 이제 명상을 해 명상. And in America they do transcendental 그 대표적인 meditation. 대표적인 것이 요가예 요가. And the representative example for TM is 그 yoga. 요가의 어떤 스트레칭을 하기 위한 살을 빼기 위한 그걸 말하는 게 아니에요. I'm not talking about people who use yoga to stretch and exercise. 그는 그는 뭐 요가를 하는 형식이든 아니면 내가 체조를 하든 운동을 하든 스트레칭을 하든 그는 그런 종이 그냥 요가에 음악을 틀어놓고 깊이 명상을 한다. 그래서 음악에 나오는 것을 명상을 한다 생각을 한다. 그건 이제 위험하다는. Yoga can be just a form of exercise or a form of stretching, but if somebody is turning into turning on music and meditating on that, then it can be a very deep problem. 그 영혼 속에 그것이 전달돼. Because those messages are being relayed into that spirit. 그래서 귀신이 역사하기 시작해. And then evil spirits begin to work. 이 귀신의 역사에 뿌리면 힘이 있습니다. And when the evil spirits work, they have power. 그러나 다른 눈에 보이지 않는 영적인 힘이 내게 들어와요. Because they receive another kind of spiritual power that is invisible to the eyes. 그래 포춘 텔러들은 그 사람을 알아맞혀요. That's how fortune tellers are able to see the future. 그 사람의 되어질 일도 잠깐은 이야기할 수 있어요. And they're able to tell these people what has happened to them. 특별히 과거의 일은 완전히 맞혀요. They're able to guess exactly what happened in your past. 왜냐 그 사람의 능력이 아니고. It is not by that person's power, but the evil spirits know and I'll tell that person. But this is invisible. But evil spirits can come into the church as well. We might think that only God works inside of the church, but demons work too. If you keep on going centered on yourself, then things like uh, religion, idols, and... 내 중심으로 가지 말아 이 말. And uh, demons will work upon you. That's 다른 why. 다른 사람이 중심이 되도록. You should not be centered on yourself, but instead focus on others. 그래서 그 사람 하여금 복음을 증가하도록. To proclaim the gospel to others. 우리 그 다른 사람 뭐 중심이다. 그거 아무 의미가 없어요. 결국은 복음을 증가하기 위해서 다른 사람의 유익을 구하는 거예요. Being centered on other people doesn't mean anything either, unless it is to give them the gospel. That is really to their benefit. 여러분의 사랑 관계가 좋은 사람들은. 자기보다는 다른 사람을 중심으로 두는 사람은 사람들이 많이 모입니다. If people have a lot of good human relationships, it's because they prioritize other people above themselves, so many people gather to them. 그 이제 모이는 것을 뭘 하냐? 그 하나 영광을 돌려, 그 복음을 증거해. And then when people gather together, we use that to glorify God and proclaim the gospel. 그 자기 중심, 자기밖에 모르는 사람, 자기 유익을 구하는 사람은 사람이 안 붙어요. 왜냐? 그 누가 가겠어요? 자기 유익을 위해서 생 관계 하는데. But if somebody is only focused on themselves and focused on benefiting themselves, then nobody attaches themselves to that person. 그렇죠? Right? 네. 중요한 거예요, 이거. 
This is very important. 이거 모르면 여러분 미국 지도자가 안 돼요. If you don't know this, then you cannot be a leader in America. 미국에 여러분 위로 올라가지를 못해 왜냐 이게 안 따라가니까 이 you, 시스템이 안 따라가 올라가지를 못해. And if you don't know this, you won't be able to be a very high position because your mental state cannot follow it. 높아질 하거든 낮춰라 자기를 낮춰라. Today's Bible scripture said, if you want to become great, then you must humble yourself. 왜 자꾸 상처가 들어오냐? 자기를 높게 자꾸 올리니까 상처가 되는 거예요. 자기가 안 높아진 상처가 되는 거죠. The reason you keep on getting scars is because you try to elevate yourself, but you're really not that high up. 자기를 낮추려면 하나님의 음성을 들어요. 그 자기를 낮추는 거예요. 하나님 음성을 들어야 돼요. And if you want to humble yourself, then you have to listen to God's voice. That's the only way. 오늘도 여러분들이 메시지 듣잖아요. 기도하시면서 메시지 듣기 바랍니다. Even today you're listening to the message but I hope that you're listening while you pray. 이게 무슨 말인지 모르면은 나중에 알게 되겠지. 모르면 큰일 나는 거예요. If you don't understand what these words mean, I'm sure you'll understand later on because if you don't it's a big problem. 왜냐? 사람의 말을 통해서 듣지만 나는 하나님의 음성을 듣는 거예요. Because you may be listening to the words of people right now but you're listening to the voice of God. 제대로 된 렘넌트는 반드시 성공은 올 수밖에 없고 사람 살리고 영향 주게 돼 있어요. 반드시 그래요. The remnants who are able to do this will, without a doubt, have success, and they will save other people and influence others. 그 여러분 주일날 오후까지 있잖아요. 기도하시면서 들으시기 바랍니다. You guys are here until Sunday afternoon, so I hope that you are here while you pray. 그리고 가능하면 창문도 좀 열어놓고. 깊은 호흡하면서 듣기 바랍니다. 말로 그냥 앉아 있습니까? And if possible, open a window and listen while you do deep breathing. Why would you just sit here? 아니 영육 간에 여러분 힘을 얻는 시간이 되시기 바랍니다. I hope that this will be a time for you to receive strength spiritually and physically. 근데 이게 <웃음> 어렵다는 말은 영적으로 하나님께 집중이 안 된다는 소리예요. But if this is difficult, it means you're not able to concentrate on God spiritually. 여러분 집중 알죠? 집중. You know concentration, right? 그 돋보기 아래 돋보기. You know a magnifying glass? 돋보기 왜 이렇게 생겼잖아요, 이렇게. 그 햇빛이 이렇게 쬐잖아요. This is what a magnifying glass looks like and then the sunlight is going through it. 그 햇빛이 막 쬐면 이게 모아서 뭐 물체를 이게 태워요. 번식해요. And when the sunlight gets focused in the magnifying glass, then it can actually burn things underneath the magnifying glass like leaves. 그 여기 햇빛은 우리가 늘 쬐입니다. We are under the sunlight every day. 이 돋보기가 하는 역할이 뭐가 이 빛을 집중을 시켜요. But what the magnifying glass does is it focuses all of that solar energy. 그 집중 생김에 힘이 생겨서 물체를 태운다니. And when all of those beams are focused or concentrated, then it receives strength to burn things. 그게 집중이에요. That's concentration. 하나님께 집중하게 될때 여러분이 없는 파워가 생겨요. When you concentrate on God, you will receive a power that you don't have. 그때부터 문제가 문제 안 돼. From that point on, a problem is no longer a problem. 그냥 하나님 하시는 것을 집중해서 보기 때문에 응답이 보이고 하나님 계획이 보이는 거예요. Because you're able to see the thing that God give, uh, sees, you're able to see the answer. 그런데 메시지는 많이 들었는데 집중이 안 된다 말이야. You listen to so many messages, but you're not able to concentrate. 뭐 집중이 안 된다는 말은? 분산이 된다는 소리, 영이 분산된다는 소리. And if you're not able to concentrate, it means that your spirit is scattered or divided. 그 영이 분산되니까 파워가 없죠. If your spirit is scattered or divided, 그러니까 then there's no power. 자꾸 집착이 되는 거예요. That's why you are so obsessed with things. 자꾸 사람의 집착, 공부의 집착, 그 병입니다, 그는. You're obsessed with that person or obsessed with studying. That's a disease. 뭐, 뭐 여기 앉아서도 공부, 공부, 그 집착이 없는 거 병이에요, 병. Even while you're sitting here, you think about that study, study. That's a disease. 뭐 계속 고민하는 거예요. And you're always worried about it. 그는 병입니다, 분명히 이야기합니다. I'm telling you now, that is an illness. 이게 지나치면은 중독이 돼 버린 거예요. And when that obsession goes further, it turns into upset, uh, addiction. 그내 영적인 것이 못 빠져 나와요 거기서. And your spirit cannot escape from that. 그 지금 미국에 지금 중독, 마약 중독, 마약이 문제가 아니라 중독이에요 중독. So in America, there are so many addictions. So the drug is not the issue. Addiction is the issue. 중독 가기 전에 집착 현상이 와요 집착. Before we go into addiction, we have obsessions. 여기 앉아 있는데 그 게임, 컴퓨터 게임 계속 생각나죠. 그 집착이요 집착. You're sitting here, but you keep on imagining your video game, right? That's an obsession. 되고 안 해도 돼야 되는. 근데 안 하면 안 되도록 계속 생각난다. 그 병입니다. 병. It should be optional. I can do this or I cannot do that. But if you're focused on it to the point where you're obsessed, that's a illness. 왜냐? 하나님께 집중하지 않으니까 하나님과 분리, 분리 상태. 부, because, 하나님과 분리 상태. 영적으로. Because you're not concentrating on God, you are in a spiritual state that is divided or separated from God. 요걸 누가 하냐? 요셉이. Joseph concentrated. 
창세기 40절 38절 보니까 여호와의 신에 이만큼 감동된 자그 말은 뭐죠? 그게 집중됐단 말이에요. Genesis chapter 41 verse 38 said who can we find that is filled with the spirit of God like this man meaning he was focused. 다윗이 이걸 잘했어요. And David did that well. 다윗이 어릴 때 양을 치면서 이거 집중하는 것을 알았어요. When David was a young shepherd boy he knew how to concentrate. 이 어릴 때부터 집중되는 사람들은 커서도 The people that are able to concentrate ever since a young age are able to do great things when they're older. 아무도 하나님께 집중하는 사람이 없으니까 본인 혼자밖에 안 되니까 거기 응답이 다 와요. Because there's nobody else that can concentrate on God, only you alone. So all of the answers go to you. 그 골리앗 별거 아니거든 저기 볼 때. 그 다른 사람을 볼 때는 너무 큰 문제예요 이거는. And everybody thought that Goliath was such a huge problem, but it wasn't that big of a problem to David. 뭐 하나님의 능력이 임해 버리니까. <laughs> Because God's power was upon David, it wasn't a big deal to him. 여러분, 이거 안 되면 세상 나가면 어렵다 합니다. 어렵습니다. 그러나 안 내려오셔야 돼요. If you're not able to concentrate on God, then it's going to be so difficult to live in the world. But it shouldn't be. 이거 여러분이 공부를 잘하면 안 내려오지냐? 아니요, 그가 되는 게 아니고 제 창조가 돼야 돼요. You think that if you get really good grades, the world is not going to be difficult? No, it will be. You must be created. 하나님이 내게 임하면 안 내려오죠, 여러분. If God's power comes upon you, then it's no longer difficult. 그 여러분 공부를 많이 해서. 내일 시험에 임하잖아요. 그 사람은 기뻐요. 어, 시험 오라 해. 시험 문제 나오라 그래. If someone studies really diligently, then they're happy to get tested. They say, test me on this and that. 공부 안한 놈들은 시험이 두려워요. 왜냐, 어차피 틀리고 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 하니까 그 괴롭거든. But if somebody has not studied for a test, then it's so hard for them to take a test because they get every question wrong. 공부 많이 한 놈들은 내일 시험인데 시험이 연기됐다. 제일 화냅니다. If somebody does study, but then their task gets postponed, then they get angry. 하나님께 힘을 딱 믿음의 힘을 딱 얻으면 내가 자신 있는 게 아니고 하나님이 하시니까 자신이 생기는 거지. But if you receive sure faith in God, then you know that I'm not the one doing it. God is the one doing it, so you have confidence. 다윗이 머리가 좋은 게 아니고 다윗이 좋은 학교를 나온 게 아니고 다윗이 형들 중에는 제일 육신적으로 안 좋은 사람이야. David was not very smart. He didn't graduate from a very good school. He was physically the weakest of his brothers. 그 다니엘이라는 사람, 이 똑똑한 사람이 다니엘은. And Daniel was smart. 다 똑똑하다고 되는 게 아니에요. But that's not enough. 하루에 세 번씩 예루살렘을 향해서 하나님께 집중할 수 있는 이 비밀, 세상 말로 노하우를 갖고 노하우. He had the worldly mystery to concentrate to on God and His covenant three times every day. 성경에는 그걸 비밀이라고 세상에는 노하우라요. The Bible tells us that's a mystery, and the world says that's know-how. 이 노하우를 여러분 갖고 있어야 돼. And you need to have that know-how. 이 노하우를 가지고 있으면 이 사람은 어디 가도 괜찮아. 왜냐, 하나님의 능력이 많으니까 문제가 뭡니까? 하나님 지혜가 오는데. If you have that know-how, then it's not going to be a problem no matter where you go because God's wisdom and power come upon you. 그 저는 그냥 전하는 게 아니고 제가 증인 완벽한 증인 아니지만 그냥 내가 경험한 증인으로 이야기하는 거예요. I'm not telling you this just as theory, but as a witness who has experienced this. 미국 딱 있으면 벌벌 떨게 아니고 하나님 이렇게 하시겠다 딱 자신 있어야 돼. So if you face a problem, you shouldn't be trembling in fear about it, but you need to have confidence that God is with you. 앞으로 여러분 그렇게 될 겁니다. And that's what you'll be like in the future. 지금은 잘 모르지만 하나님 그렇게 만들어요. You may not know this right now, but God will make you like that later. 어떻게 될까? 뭐 모르겠다. 그는 막 한참 헤매고 있는 거예요. But if you don't know what's going to happen, then you're wandering. 그 미래가 쫙 보여야 돼요. You need to be able to see your future clearly. 아 하나님 앞으로 이렇게 하시겠구나. Oh, God is going to do this for me. 네, 그렇게 되게 돼 있어요. And it's going to turn out like that. 어 미리 알고 하는 사람은 쉽잖아요. But for the people that already know the end result in advance, it's easy. 여러분 그뭐 이렇게 올림픽 게임이라든지 게임 보면은 이겼다는 뉴스를 듣고 보면은 별로 exciting 하지 않죠. If there's a big game or a match, but you already know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because you already know the end score. But if you know the end result, then it's not that exciting to watch it again. Because But these remnants knew in advance. Joseph knew that all of Egypt would be changed by the work of God. David was a young shepherd boy. 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 David
illiterate. And Daniel was an elite that knew very well what would happen in the future because Israel was captive because they were concentrating on the world instead of worshiping God. 초대교회 사람이 육신적으로는 별로 힘이 없는 사람들이에요. The members of the early church were physically very weak. 그 육신적으로는 그래요. But that's physically. 근데 영적으로는 다른 힘을 가지고 있어요. But spiritually they had another kind of strength. 이미 미래도 알아요. They already know the future. 앞으로 세계 복음화를 하나님 할 것이라는 걸 이미 알고 초대교회로 형성된 거예요. They entered into the early church because they knew the end result would be God fulfilling world evangelization. 이미 복음 없으면 반드시 저주 재앙이 온다는 걸 미리 알고 가기 때문에 뭐 성공 사람 보고 흔들리거나 이런 게 없어요. Because they already knew the end result that without the gospel the result will be curses and disasters. It didn't matter what people said or did. 그 성공자 속에 하나님의 복음이 없는 영적 상태를 볼수 있는 상태가 됐단 말이에요. They were in a state where they could see the spiritual state of the people who have success but don't have God. 그리고 세상 가서 흔들릴 이유가 없는 거지. Then there's no reason for them to shake in the world. 세상에서 왜 흔들립니까? 육신적인 것 때문에 흔들리잖아요. The reason you shake in the world is because of the physical things. 어, 사람이 right? 말하는 것 때문에 저 사람 되게 센 척하면서 그 흔들리거든요. 그거. You get shaken because of this person's words. They seem so strong. 어, 그 사람이 뭐센 척하는지 거짓말하는지 모르잖아요. 어쨌든 그 나타나는 말 보고 흔들리거든. But you don't know whether this person is Pretending to be strong just with their words. 하나님께 집중하는 사람들은 그거 넘어서 버려. But the people that only concentrate on God, they overcome people's words. 그리고 억울한 일도 당할 수 있어요. They think unfair things might happen. 상관없어요. It doesn't matter. 하나님께 기도하면 하나님이 정리를 시켜요. Because if you pray, then God takes care of it. 뭐 그거 자신감 없이 어떻게 세상 나가? How are you? 공부 잘해야지. How are you going to go out into the world with that without that kind of confidence? 어 공부하는 건그 자기 그 육신적인 기술 테크닉 부분에 공부하는 거지 세상 살아가는 거는. Yes, of course, you should be good at studying for your specialization and whatever you're doing for work, but you need to be prepared to see the world as well. That's concentration. 그래요, 복음. 복음은 내가 아니에요. Concentrating on the gospel, which is not you. 이런 게 여섯 가지 올무에 완전히 올무에 딱 스네일에 잡혀 버려요. Otherwise, you'll be completely ensnared by six the Satan six snares. 여러분 정신적으로 고통 당한다는 말은 자유함을 못 느낀다. If you are suffering mentally, it means you that you don't have freedom. 우울증이란 올무에 딱 사로잡히니까 이 벗어나지를 못하는 거예요 이게. Because you're so ensnared by depression, you're not able to escape. 네, 공황장애란 올무에 딱 사로잡히니까 공황장애에서 못 벗어나는 거예요. When you are ensnared by the mental illness of panic attacks, you cannot escape from that. 돈돈 하다가 돈이 없어지면은 돈의 올무에 사로잡히기 때문에 못 빠져나와요 거기서. You're so obsessed with money that one day you get ensnared by money and you cannot escape from that. 왜냐 이미 올무에 잡힌 사람이에요. Because you are already trapped or ensnared. 나 하다가 결국 올무에 사로잡히는 거예요. You are so focused on me and then you get ensnared. 복음이 뭐냐? 내가 아니라 그리스도가 내 안에 주인으로. What is the gospel? Not me, but Christ inside of me as my Lord. 십자가에서 우리의 모든 저주를 대신 죽음으로 받으셨어. On the cross, He received all of our death and our curses for us. 왜 저주가 오냐? 하나님을 불신하게든 죄로 말미암아 저주가 나 대신 주님이 다 받으셨어요. The reason we are cursed is because we are living separated from God without God, but Jesus received that curse for us. 하나님이란 증거로 부활하시고 사망을 이기고 사탄의 권세를 As evidence that Jesus is God, He resurrected and overcame the authority of Satan and death. But what happens after all of that? He lives inside of me. This is important. That's what's 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 important. The moment you're able to believe in this, the works of recreation take place. 그런데 교회를 다니면서 여기 안 믿어지면은 재창조의 역사를 축복을 받아놓고도 원래 창세기 3장의 나 중심으로 걸어가요. But if you don't believe in this, even as you go to church, the blessings of recreation have been prepared for you, but you keep on going towards Genesis 3. 오늘날 기독교인들이 나를 비해 기독교인들이 재창조가 안 되면 세상에 먹히는 거예요. And the same thing happens today. If they're not able to enjoy the blessings of recreation, then they will be devoured by the world. So, 성경 공부는 엄청 많이 해가지고 성경은 너무 알아요. But people study the Bible and they know the Bible so well. 왜 바리새인들처럼 지식을 많이 쌓으면 바뀔 줄 알고? Because they thought they can change if they learn a lot, just like the Pharisees did. 그리스도가 믿어져야 돼요. You must believe in Christ. 그러면 내 안에 소프트웨어가 바뀌어. Then the software inside of you will change. 안경을 
여러분, 여러분 지금 눈이 있죠, 눈. 눈으로 guys, 세상을 보잖아요. You guys have your eyes that you see the world with, right? 그 세상을 바꾸려 하지 말고 여러분 눈을 바꿔 버려야 돼. Instead of trying to change the world, you should change your eyes. 아, 저게 문제 있다. 문제 있다. 백날 손가락질 해 봤자 안 바뀌어요, 이거는. It doesn't matter how many hundreds of problems you point out because it's not going to change. 눈을 바꿔 버려야 돼. You need to change your eyes. 맨날 선글라스 검은 거 보다가 아, 세상 왜 이렇게 캄캄하지? You're always having these really dark sunglasses. Like, why is the world so dark? One day, try changing your sunglasses 아, to yellow lenses. And you'll say, why is the world so bright? It's about changing your eyes. 문제인데, Then it may, the problem may be the exact same, but you don't see it as a problem. 여러분, When something really good happens to you, then any bad thing that happens doesn't feel as bad. 이 보는 눈이 바뀌려면 안에 마음의 상태를 바꿔야 돼. If you want to change the eyes that you see with, you need to change the state of your heart. 제 화장실 너무 오래 있네. You're in the bathroom too long. 들으세요. Listen, okay? Too much 화장실 오래 앉아서 you. You're sitting in the bathroom too long. 제때문에 메시지도 안 되네. 어쨌든 나 안에 소프트웨어를 바꿔야 돼. You need to change the software inside of you. 여러분 소프트웨어가 재창조가 되지 않는 이상은 교회를 아무리 다녀도 나쁠 건 없는데 언젠가는 바뀌겠지만 그걸로 되는 게 아니에요. If the software inside of you is not changed, then even if you go to church, it's not going to do nothing will work until you change. 주는 그리스도시요 살아계신. Lord, you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. 정말 그리스도께서 나와 함께 하신 분이 정말 하나님 맞습니까? Is Christ the one who is with you truly God? 그러면 여러분 앞에 놓여 있는 게 그렇게 문제가 됩니까? Then is whatever you are facing right now really a problem? 여러분이 능력이 없는 게 그렇게 문제가 됩니까? Is it really that much of a problem that you don't have power? 주님이 나의 하나님이 아니니까 문제가 되는 거지. It's only a problem because the Lord is not your God. 그 주님이 나의 하나님이 될때 문제 될게 없죠. When that Lord becomes my God, then nothing can be a problem. 세계 복음화 할수 있죠. 왜냐 하나님이 약속했으니까. And we can do world evangelization. Why? Because God promised it. 거기에 내 공부, 내 일이 그 약속에 딱 잡히는 거예요. My business and my studies must be seized by that promise. 그럼 하나님이 그 약속을 이루기 위해서. Then God will begin to work with power in order to fulfill that. But by focusing on yourself, it will never work. If you just talk, are focused on me, you'll fight. Because there are things where you are correct and you are right. But that person is also their own self and they think they're right. In the life that I have lived, in the world that I grew up in, I consider this right and that's not right from your perspective. And two people that have completely different backgrounds meet together, they either have to work together or get married together, then of course they will fight. But instead of thinking about changing yourself, you only point out the flaws of the other person, then it's not going to matter for all the years. It's not about me, but what does the Lord inside of me want me to see through this? Situation, your eyes must change to see that. 아시겠어요? Right? Understand? 모르겠어요. Do you not understand? Do you want to fall asleep? Should I make you stand up? 네, Anyone who's falling asleep should stand up. I'll make you sing. And I'll make you dance. The songs 네. and dances you usually like. 추, Because you always love dancing, so I'll 네. make you dance. You need to not only dance at home, but here as well. And anyone that's not making eye contact with me right now, I'm going to make you stand up here. 이렇게 세우는 거, are you ready? Are you ready to stand up here? 준비됐어요. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. 잠도 깨어지고, 웨이컨도 웨이컨도 되고. 
잠 깨우려고 내가 얼마나 이 쇼맨십을 해야 되는지. I try so hard to wake you guys up. 네. 뭐 하다가 이래 나왔습니까 우리가? <웃음> 뭐 이야기가 되까지 왔어요. 공부 못하는 특징이래요. 지가 했는 말을 지가 몰라. 아, 책을 읽는데 뭔 말을 했는지 몰라. 그러니까 시험 못 맞추는 The characteristic of kids that don't study well, you read something and you completely forget it so you can't take a test on it. 네. 어쨌든 나를 못 바꿔요. 복음이 들어와서 주님이 내 안에서 내가 주인으로 믿어지면 은 바뀌어져요. You're not able to change yourself. The gospel has to go into you. And when you believe in that Christ as your Lord, then you'll change. If you face a very complicated situation, stop worrying about it, but entrust it to the Lord and finish it. And it doesn't matter how much you try to make a judgment about what's right and what's wrong, because God is the judge, entrust it to Him and it's finished. 모를 수 있어요. 하나님이 아시니까 하나님께 맡기는 것으로 끝. If you don't know what you need to do in the future, that's completely possible. But God knows your future, so entrust it to Him, and it's finished. 아 결혼을 해야 되는데 결혼 대상자가 없다. 그도 하나님께 맡김으로 끝. I have to get married, but there's no one for me to get married. So trust in the Lord and finish that as well. 그그 하나님 안 하십니까? Does God not do that? 그 하나님이 그걸 다 컨트롤 안 해요? Is God not controlling all of that? 다 해요. He does. 왜냐면 내 인생 주인이니까. Because He is the Lord of my life. 그 믿으시기 바랍니다. So I hope that you will believe 아, that. 안 믿는 게 문제라 이 말이에요. Not believing is the problem. 그걸 보고 죄라 그래요. That's what you call sin. 그게 사탄이 하는 짓이에요. That's what Satan does. 그 문제부터 해결돼야 돼요. That's the problem that needs to be solved first. 정말 내 옳은 것을 증명하고 싶습니까? Do you really want to prove 역사하도록 기다리세요. How right you are, you need to wait for the Lord to work. 그러니까 내가 옳다고 옳은 게 아니에요. Just because you think you're right doesn't mean you're right. 네, 자꾸 싸우는 이유가 뭡니까? What's the reason you keep on fighting? 서로 자기가 옳다는 거지. Everybody thinks that they're right. 네, 하나님 볼 때는 아닌데. But from God's perspective, it's not true. 사탄이 볼 때는 맞아요. It's right from Satan's perspective. 그러니까 맨날 분열, 분탕, 다툼, 싸움, 갈등을 계속 이렇게 내는 거예요. And that's why there's always so much division and fighting and conflict and arguments. 기다리면 돼요. 하나님의 옳은 분이니까 하나님이 움직이겠지. All you have to do is wait because God is right and you move. 그 기다림에 시간이 필요하니. But there must be a time that you wait. 그래서 be patient. That's why be patient. 그 신앙은 be patient입니다. Our faith is about having patience. 참는 게 아니고 하나님이 움직일 거니까 그 믿음으로 기다리는 거예요. It's not about just grinning and bearing it, but you believe that God will work, so you just wait for Him. 그러면 반드시 하나님의 시간표, 하나님의 응답으로 역사하게 돼 있어요. Then without a doubt, God will work with answers in God's time schedule. 그러니까 이제 사람이 자꾸 하나님의 움직이는 시간표에 내 체질이 자꾸 맞춰지는 거예요. And so our nature keeps on changing to be aligned with God's time schedule. 자, 이 오네시모는 도둑놈. Onesimus was a thief. 빌레몬의 밑에 종으로 있다가 도둑질해서 감옥에 들어갔는데 바울을 만나서 완전히 재청교를 받기 버립니다. He used to be Philemon's slave and then he was stealing from Philemon so he got sent to prison and met Paul and received the gospel of salvation. 그리스도에게 잡히 버리면 안 바뀔 사람이 없어요. There is not a single person who will not change when they meet Christ. 그 대표적인 예가 저예요, 저. And the characteristic example is me. 근데 우리 없네. 오늘 오전에 왔다 갔네. 나보고 아, 목사님 그래 안 생기는데요. 목사님 좀 행복하게 보이는 거. 이새 신자 그래 믿어요. 그럼 내가 이제 그 얘기 하니까. There was somebody, a relatively new believer in our church, who said, Pastor, you don't seem like someone who used to be different in your past. 근데 이렇게 내가 바뀐 거예요, 이렇게. You seem so happy now. 원래는 워낙 나 중심이다 보니까 염려, 근심, 두려움, 센서티브 이런 게다 몰려오더라고. But that's how much I've changed because I live my life centered on myself. I was so worried and sensitive and anxious. 그러니까 내가 미래에 대한 보는 능력이 없으니까 미래에 대한 두려움이 오더라고. And because I didn't have the ability to see the future, I was afraid of the future. 과거의 상처 이게 나를 계속 붙잡고 있어요. And 내가 상처 받았으니까. And the scars of my past continue to hold on to me because I was scarred. 오늘도 살아갈 수 있는 힘이 내게 약하니까 이 오늘도 힘든 거야. And it was difficult for me to live every day because I didn't have the strength to live. 그런데 어떤 사람은 이거를 이제 해피하기 위해서 이게 make a fun 한다고 이렇게 자기 즐거움을 찾으려고 이걸 벗어난다고. There are some people who try to have fun so that they can overcome this difficulty. 우리 특징이 또 serious 해가지고 그러질 못해요. But my characteristic is I'm too serious. I can't even do that. 혼자 눌리는 거예요. And so just alone, I was so oppressed. 네. 복음을 받은 거예요. And then I received the gospel. 복음을 받으니까 이게 완전히 재창조 바뀌잖아요. After receiving the gospel, I was completely changed through recreation. 이게 삶 전체적으로 바뀌는 시간표들은 계속 바뀌나. And according to God's time schedule, my entire life changed. 그 오는 게 바로 자유예요, 자유. And the result was freedom. 
그러면 자유는 내 마음대로 하는 게 자유가 아니에요. Freedom is not just doing whatever I want. 네, 언제 자 그리스도를 주인으로 될때참 왜? 종은 주인이 하는 대로 하면 돼요. 근데 종이 지 주인 되면 지가 책임지고 지가 다 해요. 그럼 자유가 아니에요. We get true freedom when we simply do what the Lord desires because a servant simply follows their master's command. If I try to be the master, it's going to be a very difficult life. 네, 그리스도 영이 나를 움직이면은 자유가 없어요. If the Spirit of Christ moves me, then I receive true freedom. 이 자유가 여기 있어요. 미국 자유 말고 이 자유가 있어요. And we need to have this true freedom, not the freedom America talks about. 이 자유를 쓰면 노예로 들어가도 자유가 있어요. And this is a freedom where you can be free even if you're a slave. 어려운 상황 가운데 놓여졌는데 그 안에 자유가 있어요. You might be stuck in a very difficult situation, but inside of it, you are free. 어려운 상황이 기준이 아니고 내 속에 자유가 있냐가 기준이지. So having the right situation is not the standard. Whether you have freedom inside of you is the true situation. 어려, 어려운 게 온다. 내가 영향 받는다. 그건 자유가 없는 거예요. If there, if you face a difficult situation and you're being influenced by that. 진짜 자유는 뭐냐? 그리스로 말미암아 성령의 인도를 말미암아. Then you actually don't have true freedom. True freedom is that because Christ is inside of you, I am not influenced by that situation. You have freedom within Christ. That is how you can be set free from the devil. That's how you can be set free from drugs. That's why you how you won't complain about life being difficult. Because whether the world is difficult or not, it doesn't matter because I have freedom. For kids that are good at studying, it doesn't matter if there's a war. 그렇잖아요. Right? 전쟁이 일어난 거로 일어난 거지. 그럼 공부하는 놈들은 상관없다니까. 학생 학생들 기준으로. If there's a war, there's a war. I just have to worry about studying. 옛날에 한국에 한국 전쟁이 일어나서 부산으로 피난 가서 피난 전부 다. There was one time in Korea there was a war, so everybody had to escape towards Busan. But the kids that were good at studying would keep on studying there. But there were some people who say, "Oh, I can't study because of the war." But those that are good at studying keep studying. 전쟁 환경이 문제이고 그 사람이 누구냐 이 말이야. So the environment or situation doesn't matter; it's who you are. 자유 아니냐? Do you have true freedom? 그리스도의 영. If you receive the guidance of the Spirit of Christ, then you have freedom. We need to have that. We need to have that true freedom to enjoy even the freedom of America, which is only like a half-sided freedom. Onesimus went into prison as a thief, but he received the gospel, so everything changed. This Philemon saw when Paul and Philemon said, "Yeah, 용서 좀 해주라. 옛날에 도둑질 했지만 이제는 완전히 애가 바뀌었다." The book of Philemon that we just read was a letter that Paul wrote to Philemon, saying, "I know that he stole from you, but forgive him because he's completely changed." 나중에 이게 복음이 얼마나 바뀌었냐니까 나중에 이 사람을 그러니까 목사로 세워서 빌로몬을 그 장로로 세워요. Later on, Onesimus changed so much that he becomes similar to a pastor, and then Philemon becomes an elder. So Philemon actually ends up serving his own old servant or slave. But that is how even the heaven and earth is recreated when the gospel goes in. 어떤 상황도 문제가 안 돼. And no situation can be a problem. 그 상황을 뒤엎을 수 있는 하나님이 내 주인이냐, 내가 그걸 믿어지냐? The real issue is: do, Is the God who has the power to overturn that entire situation my God? And do I believe that? If somebody of you don't believe in that, your prayer topic is: God help me believe. 그러니까 하수들이 하는 기도는 뭐 달라, 뭐 해결 달라. 그 계속 부족해 우리는 또 어려워요. 그 말고 하나님을 믿는 그리스도를 믿는 그 믿음이 내게 있게 달라 하면 끝이요. But the majority of people, they will pray to give me this or do that for me, and we'll always pray like that because we're always lacking things. But if we pray for Him to completely fill me, um, then that will change. There are many people like Onesimus. There are many people like Onesimus at your school. People that everybody looks down on or just gave up on. Oh, they have no potential. They have no hope. They're always doing drugs and running around. But that's just what people say. When the gospel goes in, then that person will completely change to save other people. 그래서 우리가 기도하고 기다리고 하나님 때가 있어요. That's why we pray and we wait for people because God has His time. 성경에는 엘리트들이 복음 받고 뒤집어진 사람 있지만 완전히 세상의 바닥 바텀 라인에 있는 사람도 
In the Bible, there were elites that were used by God, but also there are people who are at rock bottom that were changed by God and used. And God has called you to use you like that. All you have to do is pray momentarily. God, give me faith so that Christ is my Lord. You need to pray that fundamental prayer. Then that person doesn't have a lot of questions. Because he has a Lord. And I entrust my life to my Lord. When am I going to get married? Who cares? I entrust it to the Lord. What am I going to do in the future? Who, who am I to know? I entrust it to the Lord. There's no need to worry about not being very smart because the Lord has given me my DNA and He will change me and use me as He needs. There's no need to compare yourself with anyone else. Because I am me, I have the uniqueness that God has created me to be. It doesn't matter what anybody else says because those are just their words, but God will, has chosen me and will fulfill His covenant me. Now, I'm not telling you this is a reason to look down on other people, but there is a portion that God has made you specifically for. From that point on, you'll have this internal strength. And you'll no longer be afflicted by comparison. Otherwise, you'll always be afflicted by comparison. Girls will be afflicted because they're of how their face looks or their body looks or afflicted because they have more money than I do what's the real issue? you're only comparing yourself with others because you don't know why God has called you and what he'll use you for and you even get to the point where you resent your mom and dad for being the way that they are if I grew up in a better neighborhood then I would have studied better and you say all of these unnecessary things and yes if somebody just wants to live a life like that then they can move to a better neighborhood and study but if you really want to do American and world evangelization you're not interested in that because no matter what the situation is God is going to change and move this person based on their talents and specialization and God will change the situation and bring people to you to fulfill the covenant that God has given to you specifically. Look at Joseph. That doesn't mean you have to choose to specifically go to a worse school, but I'm just saying just do what you can wherever you can. Not by the stream of the world, but by the stream that God is taking you in. Otherwise, you always have to move around. Oh, I heard this place is better, then you have to follow them. And if people say that this place is better, then you have to follow them. Wherever I am, that's where God's plan is. Wherever I am, that's God's mission field. This is the place where God's absolute sovereignty will change and recreation will change curses. That was Joseph. Oh, I think this looks blessed, then I'm going to follow that. No, that's Lot, not Abraham. If you hold on to the covenant and stay firm there, then everything else will change. 우리 한국이 가난한 나라가 왜 저렇게 바뀌었냐? 뭘 하는 게요? 하나님의 전도 선교 은약 붙잡고 하니까 하나님이 바꿔주는 거예요. Korea was such a poor nation, but it's so different now. Not because we're doing something well, but because we hold on to God's covenants of missions and evangelism, and God moved it, right? 네. 그 여러분 정체성을 반드시 확인하시기 바랍니다. So you need to absolutely confirm your identity. 사람이 조금 you need to have so much confidence that other people look at you and wonder if maybe you're 그 arrogant. But that comes from your assurance. 
마귀가 물러가고 하나님의 축복이 이제 들어오게 됩니다. Then the devil will flee and God's blessings will come into you. 그런 축복 임하시기 바랍니다. May that blessing be upon you. 하나님 감사합니다. God, we thank you. 렘넌트들을 축복해 주시고 We pray that you will bless the remnants. 이들의 속에 완전 복음이 들어가서 재창조의 능력으로 세계 복음화하기를 원합니다. We pray that the perfect and complete gospel will go into them, do the works of recreation for world evangelization. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도합니다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.